Good morning, morning, Mr. Marcus Reed. How are you today? I'm okay. Nice day. Pretty cold. A little cold, but beautiful. <laughs> Northview, this is Northview weather. Though. And it is Northview Heights yes, weather. Yes, Tell me, so what's so wonderful about Northview Heights? Um, I love Northview. It's so close together. Like, this is our community. I grew up here. And, uh, you know, we got our problems, but this is our people. I grew up here. So this is where we flip, where we play, where we live. Like, I think Northview's the best community on the north side once we get our minds together. Right, right. Yep, yep. And it's the biggest community on the north side, too, as well. Well, I understand some of you guys you, in this particular neighborhood, you have generations and generations. Right, So right. you may know somebody's great-great-grandmother. Miss Parham been up here for damn near, excuse my language, 60 <laughs> years. Well, yep, that's wonderful. Yep, so, so, that's, so she's Miss. Right, yeah, And right. the little kids know her that way, too. Right, right. And Lord, everybody know Miss Parham. You walk past the house, Miss Parham, a whole family, because she's been up here she's so like long. She's like mama. Yep, she might have been up here the longest, like that's the ones beautiful. still up here. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it see, is. Bills are great. Where do you see Northview Heights in 25 years? Um, In 25 years, we'll take it by five. The next five, I see Northview Heights as being almost one of the leaders in local politics okay uh, we're, we're pushing so hard up here to if you're running for any kind of office that affect Murphy you're gonna have to start coming through here that's right you can't keep um, coming up here and paying the crackheads or going to the older ladies and giving them snacks and everything for them to vote with them you have to come see the community the tenant council the so the people who's going to be here or the people who's involved with the everyday action have a piece of pie, not just money on vote day or snacks right. on good days. I see what you're saying. So that the, you get a whole right, whole, right. What's what is like? Uh, what is the? Um, is it a very diverse community up here? Uh, now it is. Um, my mom's brother. My mom's biracial. Her brother, dad is black. He he's he looked white like my son. But they used to live up here a long time ago when it was real real nice, and then it was all black. But now, since I've been back up here, I'm so shocked that you see a lot of whites and you see tons of Africans. Mm -hmm. and, and I think it's a good thing because when you got a mixed neighborhood, then you got different people coming in. Then you could, that, that's the start of entrepreneurship because now right. you got people coming in and people going to want to buy things and people going to want to do things and people's going to see other people doing good things and want to be a part of it. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. Well, speaking of that, do you, are there amenities that you don't have because you're here, especially so high up on the top of a mountain like this? Yes. Can you explain that? Um, like what, what do you think that's missing as far as business wise um, here in this community? Uh, what's missing is that, um, we don't have no business. We got only one business. And right. I'm glad that business is there, but we need other business like, you know, a cook shack, some, a mm. coffee shop, hot a chocolate. Little, yeah, a little kids, restaurant. Right. You know what I'm saying? You the know, every, go on the north side, you see there's coffee shops everywhere. Like, I mean, it don't got to be uh, a business where that you could, you know, be there all day, but just people to come through, converse, talk, and uh, we need that. We need to be part of a business district so the young people see that you can make money in your neighborhood. Right, here in your neighborhood. Without and you don't have to drugs. spend it right without selling right. drugs. You're absolutely right. right. So if tell me this. If you had a relative that came in not from out of town and you wanted to show them the best of Northview Heights, where's the first place you'd take them? Um, the best of Northview Heights. Up in Northview Heights, I take them to Chicago Circle because that used to be my favorite spot. I used yeah. to sit behind the house and it's peaceful back there. Like down there by the church in the Bethany House, you go back there. I hate to say it, but you know, we just 40 ounce sit on circle and just <laughs> conversating. Great, but yeah. we used to wake up and just sit there and conversate, and you know, it wasn't wild. Like it's not, it wasn't real wild then. You know right. what I'm saying? It's not real wild now, but you know, people do things. But that's why I would take you to the uh, circle. We got an awesome view back there. Oh, yes, yes, Beautiful. yes. And if you want to be, you know, right now, these days, people like to be left alone. So you want to be in the area where you could be. Or you need green spaces. Right. I need to see right. trees and grass That's and some where you flowers. Get it. Right, and, yes, ma'am. And how, what do you think about that in Northview Heights? Do you think that there's room for more green spaces, community gardens? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. And that's what, on Penford, I'm, I'm disappointed that they knock so many buildings down. Like, we're just missing so many families. Like, it, the buildings you knock down, we're missing families. But if we're going to be missing family, at least we could be growing food. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, we need uh, a green building for gym and movie night. Like, we don't have nothing we could do as a community. Uh -huh. So we'll never be a community. Hopefully, I mean, for the last two years, we've been trying to get money up because the 501c3 ain't right here. So we're trying to get money up so we could do movies in the park and we could do stuff like that. But if we had a green building for that, it'd be oh, awesome. That'd be awesome.
And I think it also keeps it, it, the community, you know, Right, right, because it gives people something to do. Like right now, when I come through, today's a cold day, so there ain't really too many people out. But normally on a warm Sunday, oh, to be filled already. You'll see people running and laughing, kids everywhere. You know, the kids be doing what kids do. You Beautiful. know what I'm saying? But if they had a building where they could go to, you know what I mean? We could do breakfast, lunch. We could do community dinners on the weekend. There's so many things we could do. Yeah, well, if you just get a bike trail, you can just right. travel Right, you know what? There. I'm glad you said that because I said that to Miss Val. It's so big that we can use a bike trail up there. And right. we've been giving free bikes away, so, you know, that'll oh, be beautiful. beautiful. Yes, ma'am. Marcus, I think you have a beautiful community. Yes, I look forward Thank to you. seeing some of the changes up here, and I Me celebrate too. them in Me advance. Yep. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank you for coming through.